Developer NT Creates is no stranger to retro-inspired 2D outings with sharp pixel art, busy screens full of chaos, and lots and lots of running and gunning. From Azure Striker Gunvolt and Blaster Master Zero to Bloodstained Curse of the Moon and many others, Inti Creates is responsible for numerous games which act as love letters to 2D platformers like Mega Man, including, well, the Mega Man franchise itself, which Inti Creates has worked on. And now with Grim Guardian's Demon Purge, the developer takes several more pages from Castlevania's book to create something that, while it doesn't reinvent the wheel, will put a smile on your face as you guide your two protagonists up the varied, stage-based levels of a castle overrun by all sorts of demonic creatures. Shinobu and Maya Kamizono aren't just high schoolers, they're also accomplished demon hunters, wielding a machine gun and what appear to be origami-based weapons, respectively. A tap of the shoulder button switches the girls out on the fly, which you're going to need to do on a regular basis depending on the situation. Maya is something of a glass cannon, rather frail but hits pretty hard. She's also smaller than Shinobu, which means she can crouch and shimmy her way through narrow passages her sister simply cannot manage. On the other hand, Shinobu has more health and much more range, but she does less damage and her gun will eventually need to reload, although it does need to be stated she has infinite ammo, so keep on reloading. There's an option for two-player co-op, but I can't tell you much about it because I didn't try it. It's just as well, in single player if one of the girls dies, you can perform CPR, CPR on her with the other and revive her with limited health. This is a pretty cool system, which unfortunately exacerbates one of my biggest issues with the game. It's simply too easy. Enemies crumple before you after one or two strikes, with only a handful actually taking a bit of effort to slice apart. Apart from the bosses, which are generally very impressive and do pose varying levels of challenge. Playing on veteran difficulty, I never once saw a game over. After finishing the game, which took about 7 hours, I played a few levels on casual difficulty, and aside from unlimited continues, I didn't really notice much difference between the two. Now this isn't necessarily a bad thing, and of course not every game needs to have Elden Ring levels of difficulty, but as someone who enjoys a challenge, I was hoping for a bit more. That said, the rest of what's here is great. Inti Creates is no slouch when it comes to great pixel art and character animations, and Grim Guardians is no exception. Lightning flashes outside the castle and illuminating the halls, your character's reflections on the floor, blood sp splatters on the walls when you dispatch an enemy all add to the extremely cool Castlevania vibes. I felt the character art and UI choices were rather at odds with the actual gameplay visuals, but it's in no way a big deal, and after a few minutes, I honestly stopped thinking about it. All in all, Grim Guardian's Demon Purge is a great little homage to Castlevania from a developer that knows how to craft a solid, entertaining platformer. And in a world where more and more games seem to push the 30-hour mark, it's nice to have a cool little piece of nostalgia you can blast through in a weekend or less and not regret it. I greatly enjoyed my time in this twisted castle, and I think you will too. For more reviews, discussions, and a weekly live podcast, keep it tuned right here to Super Deluxe Gamescast.